All right, back now to breaking news, and I have some sad and unfortunate news to pass along to you. We have now learned five people are dead following a shooting in downtown Louisville. Six others have now been taken to the hospital. The shooter, according to police, is dead. Uh, they said he had been neutralized and so is no longer a threat to anyone inside the old National Bank building or anyone else in downtown Louisville. This according to the Associated Press. Again, five people have been killed, six others injured after a shooting in downtown Louisville. If you're familiar with that area, uh, this happened at the old National Bank near Slugger Field. And one witnesses, one witness told the Associated Press uh, that they heard some of the gunfire inside the building as people ran out. And in some images, we have seen shattered glass. There is a heavy law enforcement presence outside of the bank and around downtown Louisville right now. Our thoughts are with so many who will be impacted by yet another shooting uh, in this downtown corridor and the multiple people who will investigate and have been impacted. The governor of Kentucky is headed to that area right now, Andy Bashir, asking for prayers for the families. I want to bring in once again retired FBI special agent Robin Dreek. Our heart is heavy with this news that now five people are dead. Robin, six have been injured after another shooting situation. Uh, the shooter is no longer a threat. Uh, now the investigation begins and trying to understand exactly what happened here. What will the FBI be doing since this did happen by all accounts inside of a bank building? Yeah, they're going to be doing, obviously, a lot of interviews. They're going to be looking at this person's life. They're going to be looking at everyone he interacted with or she interacted with for a large period of time, cell phone data. They're going to, most importantly, also at this point, too, they're going to bring in the um, victim assistance program to help those that have been traumatized by this and be a resource for them in this. And also, you know, as communities, it's having good, healthy communication. The fact that this happened and res resolved quickly was a testament to the law enforcement relationships in that area. All the resources you're seeing on scene so rapidly was fantastic. But at the same time, we have a crisis not just only of mental health, but also problem solving skills. People think that this is a way to resolve their problems in life. And so I think hopefully we'll start seeing some resolution there as well. What's your message to the public in these situations? I mean, it's a Monday morning. People are in and out of the downtown corridor, going in and out of a bank, doing their normal activities about being on guard, looking around. I mean, it, it's happening everywhere. We always have to be aware. But after this most recent tragedy, um, your message to just have our heads on a swivel. Always heads on a swivel and really, really important. A couple things here is number one, be present. When we can really engage life in the moment, we can see everything around us. When we see everything around us, what we're looking for, we want to see things that look and feel different because that should grab our attention and then we can process that information appropriately, say, should we do something about it? And in order to do that, Again, I'm going to reemphasize here, healthy relationships in our lives keep our brains calm so we can be present in the moment. So especially coming off this weekend, you know, really think in terms of how can I create and have good, healthy communications so that I can both communicate with those people around me that I care about and hear the information from them so I can be present and see the deviations from my environment so that I can keep myself safe and those around me safe. What do you make of the police response so far? It appears that they were able to act relatively quickly. There are some challenges when it's in a tightly packed downtown area as Louisville is. Yeah, from all looks from the outside in, it looks vast. It looks responsive. It looks like a lot of resources were thrown at it. Most likely, good leadership also on the scene, uh, whether it was FBI taking command and leadership or the locals, uh, from what we understand is FBI, which is a really critical element here. When you're bringing in so many resources and flooding an area, having a single point of success, communicating with all the resources coming on scene is really, really critical in these things because you don't want people re being redundant in what they're trying to do and also getting in each other's way and causing other hazards. So I think the response was really, really healthy and really, really good. The shows that it, the law enforcement has a good relationship with each other and good relationship with the community. I don't want to play it again because it is difficult to hear, but at the top of the hour, we had some video and also some audio of some of the gunshots that were being fired. We now know a witness said that it was happening inside the bank. You heard it um, when we played it a few moments ago. What do you make of what you heard? and? Um, I don't want you to speculate, but type of weapon that may have been used, the succession of gunshots, um, anything stand out to you? 
Um, semi-automatic weapon, just because of the succession of gunshots, most likely because they're pretty common um, in these type of situations. The fact that we have this number of deaths says a high probability of higher probability of higher caliber weapon as well. Um, number of injured and wounded. I mean, that's that's a horrific number of people, and so and that's that's my best guess is that it was most likely a higher powered weapon that uh, took took action here. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.